Let me ask you to respond, if you might, th this notion that the components of the universe have always existed, all yeah. signs point to the, the universe always existing, and therefore we don't need a God. Yeah. What's funny about this objection is that this is not an objection to the existence of God. This would be an objection to the Big Bang Theory of the origin of the universe. Mm. It would show that the Big Bang Theory of the origin of the universe is false, because according to that theory, all matter and energy, even space and time themselves, came into being at the moment of the Big Bang, and are therefore not eternal. They haven't mm. always been there in the past. So if these fellows were right, all contemporary cosmologists who believe in the Big Bang Theory of the origin of the universe would be contradicting the laws of thermodynamics, and that's hardly the case. Why? Well, because the laws of thermodynamics, in particular the law of the conservation of matter and energy, only applies once the universe comes into being. It applies at every moment uh, at every time and every point in the universe. But it doesn't apply to the origin of the universe itself. And that's why cosmologists don't consider that the law of conservation of uh, energy and mass is violated by the Big Bang Theory of the origin of the universe. The law holds at every moment in the universe, but it doesn't say that the universe itself, all matter and energy, can't have an original beginning point at some point in the finite past. In fact, the uh, atheist fellow mentioned the laws of thermodynamics. He might have wanted to talk about the second law of thermodynamics, which says that in a closed system, uh, things tend toward increasing disorder. Now, the universe on the atheistic view is just a gigantic closed system because it is everything there is and there's nothing outside it. And what that implies is that given sufficient time, everything in the universe would grind down to a state of maximum disorder. So if the universe has existed for infinite time from eternity past, why is it that we don't find ourselves in this sort of thermodynamically disordered state? Uh, I think that the best answer to that is that the universe has not existed forever, it began a finite time ago in a low entropy condition, and the thermodynamic clock has been running ever since then. So the evidence of thermodynamics itself suggests that the universe uh, and matter and energy are not infinite or eternal in the past, but had an absolute beginning.